Oh, there might be a bee. There's a bee in my hoodie already. I just got stung. I just got stung. Ah! <sighs> okay, so I just had the most amazing, wild, weird, crazy, fun, experimental, interesting, wacky trip I've had my whole career. And I can't wait to tell you all about it. About a uh, quarter to seven, we're driving to San Francisco to pick up a violin from an experimental luthier that's been sitting in a beehive collecting bee debris, honeycomb, honey. We have no idea. Uh, we could open it up and it could be filled with nothing. We could open it up and it could be filled with honeycomb and just like the wood could be broken or split. I, we have no idea. It could be playable. It could be unplayable, um, but we're going to go find out. Uh, I'm not looking forward to editing this section because I'm so tired. We are about to pick up my good friend and manager, Mike Rosen. He's going to accompany me on the trip. I wonder what the violin is going to be like. Is it going to be covered in bees and honey and nasty? Or is it just gonna be a regular violin because the bees have ignored it and don't like it? I'm kind of, I mean, I'm hoping that it's like as messy as possible and that I have to put tarps down in my studio to record because it was just like honey and beehive debris falling off while I record this music. Mike! 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 Hey there, bud. Yeah, sure. There's a button. You gotta press the. And of course, I forgot my wallet. So zip back up very quickly. Okay. You gonna be right here? Sure. Christ for you, this is not God's will for us, is it? Come on in, let's get this party started. Boom, let's get this party started. We're going. What do you think we're gonna see today? What is like, like, what do you, what do you imagine this violin is gonna look like when we lift it out of the beehive for the first time? I think we're gonna see bee larva crawling out of egg sacs, uh, right out of the. I hope that they have gone inside the f holes and that there's actual honeycomb inside the violin. That would be really cool. That would be effed up. <laughs> we got into our hotel. We checked in. And we are now heading to the beehive. Uh, there's bad service in the area of the beehive. It's not my property. Then you'll come to a house in an RV. Sometimes there's construction. I usually drive past the RV and park down by the caged. What? Caged? We want to use this violin on a horror movie. We don't want to be in a horror movie. Are we being Thank kidnapped? You, Tyler. Are we being kidnapped? I'm ready to fight though. I'm uh, <laughs> bam, bam, the old. Right in the noggin. Yeah, no, it's, it, and this, uh, it, I like this line. If this sounds too complicated, <laughs> he's like, Tyler, it's pretty complicated, it's buddy. It's pretty complicated, man. <laughs> so this is like, uh, you know, this is like the squid game, but we're not squids. So this is the B game. The B game. That's a lousy name for a show. Yeah, it's a really boring show. Look at these creepy trees, man. We're definitely gonna get murdered. Uh oh. What was that? I didn't see it. Just 12. I can't see it. 12 150. What's this? 12, 12 160. 70. So it's, it is this very next one. It's this one. 12 180. The destination is on your right. You. Proceed to the route.
put this, should I put my hoodie on? Yeah, probably, but just, I don't know, I think I would on. probably put something on and then get this to tuck under, like, the collar. Okay. I'm a wimp, and I don't want to get stung by a bee. Now, how long have you been uh, working with bees? This is, like, I think my fifth year. Um, I started in the Santa Cruz area where I had a house. And then I moved to Daly City, and I met these the people who used to own this property, and I started beekeeping. So you said to tuck it in? I think that's the best move. Is your shirt tucked in? Like when you tuck your hoodie under your pants? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom, don't look. Is Tyler smoking himself so the bees don't smell him as well? Oh, it smells good. It smells like some more to me. But maybe because I already smell like donuts from earlier. <laughs> this is a good look. I think the uh, the hoodie tucked into the skinny jeans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's no. going to take off. <laughs> oh, there might be a bee. There's a bee in my hoodie already. I just got stung. I just got stung. Ah! Can I see a weld? He might have just pulled a hair. <laughs> <laughs> Who's paranoid? <laughs> Here's the Wait, can I tell you guys a story? Because I forgot I haven't told you the story yet. <laughs> when I was a kid, I had the top bunk. We went to see a movie. I came back. It was time to go to bed. I crawl into bed and I feel all these stings on my leg. Yeah. It was the wasps that had come in through a hole in the attic into my bedroom and started to build their nest in, the, in between the sheets of my bed. So I am uh, very not excited to do this. Yeah. You see the violin right there? Oh my god, yeah, I do. So okay. tell me what you're doing here. You're separating. Out. It's kind of busy over here. So I come over here and remove this one frame. It's just going to give me more room to, room to work. This is really going to piss them off because they're all building. I can see how much they're building on the violin. Well, they're not pissed yet. Yeah, we're going to take the adjacent frame now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You can see honey starting right here. You can see tiny little larva. You see the whiteness. Yeah. Those are going to be bees. There's more larva. So this is what happens when the larva gets to a certain age. They, after it stops being a worm and starts becoming a bee, they close it up and it goes through its like metamorphosis. Wow. So you can tell from this frame alone that there's a queen somewhere because they have eggs. Right. Just one random spot. Yeah, on this side, this is all larva. It's all capped. And there's little like, little um, worms in between there. That's uh -huh. like babies. There's the violin, I don't know how many shots we take. They don't like it. They definitely don't like it. Oh, oh. That's your beehive violin. That's great. Can I see the front of the, oh, the, I can't see the front because the F holes, I was like, where are the F holes? But they're covered. Yeah. There's a variety of different types of comb here. Uh-huh. Like this, that broke off of like a piece of honey. This is, this is larva in here. This is larva. Oh, so right up here, this is all honey. So they built like around the violin, but yeah, well, think, I, did they think they went inside? Well, I probably. The top is off right now. Like it's only stuck together with the wax. So the next step is to violently shake this. Okay. Which. 
they probably won't come after you, but they're not going to be happy either. Okay. We want to film it, though. I'm bracing myself. Should I back up? Yeah, maybe back up a little bit. Okay. Awesome. Oh, I see some combs in there. Yeah, they definitely went inside. That's awesome. I wish you could put the neck on and leave the frame. You know? Wouldn't that be wild? Yeah. How fragile is that in terms of like me playing it? I think it'll be okay. Are they gonna come out? I mean, technically, yeah. Like, by on their own? Yeah, at some point, honestly. <laughs> Wait, we're just gonna be sleeping and just, like, have, like, little bees? We're gonna wake oh, up with little bees flying around in my recording studio? Yeah. Oh, and they're probably in there, too. So, like, even if we pop these open so that didn't happen, they're gonna come out, huh? Yeah. Just leave it outside. Uh, they left the hoodie and everything. It's almost like it'd be more fun if you didn't put the neck on because you have all everything around it, you know? Uh-huh. You can see the honey's like dripping onto the vial. Look at this on this hat. Look his head sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just leave them in. Oh, the honey is actually dripping out of the vial. Yeah. Top of I mean, the honey's coming from over here. Yeah. This one spot. like an interesting thing this here they they see how it's like elongated this is they make these for queens and then to actually make it into a queen they put a special kind of jelly oh wow so it's hard to see but if you can get the angle in this catacomb it's like a larva but it's on a bed of this like white jelly Oh, wow. And so that actually... Do they call that royal jelly? Yeah, that actually determines the genetics and it, it makes into a queen just from like feeding it that thing. Wow. That's them uh, probably trying to make a queen at some point. Or maybe like a backup queen. A lot of stuff on here. It's like a museum piece. I almost don't want to play it, man. I think I'm going to mess it up. By playing. Yeah, it's almost like maybe we should think about it because like a lot of the interest is like kind of in the frame yeah but yeah i mean we can make a play with i can tell that there's no top block so it's like a fair amount of work to do that there's so many little larvas and stuff we can see in here they've got quite an assortment of like different larvae then honeys like empty comb it's like it's like a little museum showpiece that's cool bees just keep coming out of the violin and I keep brushing them off. <laughs> Alright. So that was, you know, satisfying. That's about as nice as the honey hive and honey violin you can get. Well, that was incredible. Wasn't it incredible? I am completely blown away by what I just witnessed and filmed. I didn't expect this to be like such an educational video and it's turning, you know, I thought it was just going to be like, let's pull a violin out of a beehive. But then Tyler is so knowledgeable and he really does this and keeps bees that, you know, it was just so great. He was like showing us the different types and the different stages of the larvae and everything. I'm just really excited. It's turning out to be like personally better than I expected, which, you know, it's exceptionally interesting. And, um, I'm just, honestly, I'm just uh, honored to be here and thrilled with the whole thing. And a lot of, 
Let's go drink some. In 2.6 miles, turn right onto. This is FX2 loose. Yeah, it's really dig into it. Hey, could you just hold that real quick? I'm gonna get two blocks of wood to like. There's a bee on it. So I gotta Leave cut here to, here to get the lid off. Mm -hmm. There's so many bees. They filled the entire inside. Wow. It's pretty crazy. There you have it. That's the coolest. These are gonna be little bee heads underneath. Because they're pretty much a bee now. But these are like, you know, these are just like little larvae. This guy's really flying here. Yeah, you can tell. See, he's, he's got his sting around. Uh -huh. He's in a defensive position. He's just hoping that you, like, touch him. They don't know how to attack sometimes. They just sit there and, like, stick their ass in the air and hope that you touch them. You just lick the inside of this. I mean, I wouldn't, but... You just literally take that <laughs> and put it in your mouth. This whole piece here? Yeah. I already got some, like, on my finger and it tasted so yeah. good. I would love to taste just one tiny little bit of honey. Try to get your finger in that. Oh, in that, in there. Oh, okay, that's easy. Oh man, that's like an orange blossomy thing, right? Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Depends where they got it from. Get 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 yourself some. <laughs> it's, I swear to God, it's that's citrus. That's the highest quality uh, honey I've ever tasted. It's just. Oh, well, that is different. So, Doc, what you're telling me is that. Uh, this isn't really playable. <laughs> no. I think the biggest <laughs> the biggest issue is you'd have to stick a sound post down in here yeah. and get it just the right height so that when you close it, it's like enough support because you would never be able to fish the sound post in. And that's important for full tension. Right. Um, but at least you have all this comb and you can just literally get it the right height and stuff it in. But, you know, whatever. I mean, I've hacked worse. Theoretically, we could cut this out and try to like get this in here and then get in here and kind of make it work. It would take some effort. Okay, we just arrived back at Tyler's workshop. You know, he's been working overnight and see if this, he see if he was able to make this thing playable, you know, put the neck on and the bridge and able to string it. And uh, I think he can do it because he's a mad I scientist have genius. No doubt. None. Yeah, he's a mad scientist genius. I'm sure he's figured out some amazing way to, to get the neck on and get the tension right of the violin so that we can play this thing on the soundtrack. He's a singular genius he's a very unique individual and highly talented and capable yeah he's incredible all right let's go see yeah well if i could be anything i want i'd be just like you hold my fickle tongue wear my insides in right where they belong 
stop speaking in poetry Write my name on the top of a resume I turn myself in So my immortal soul Start living like a slave But now I say Take my empire apart And never write you another song And you would miss my pretty voice When I am gone We've got the beehive violin right here in this giant box. I'm gonna show you the craziest thing in a second. So we're back here. And the craziest thing about this beehive violin is that there's still like, there is still bees hatching inside of the cones and hanging out. This poor guy doesn't look so good. So I'm gonna give him a minute I'm gonna give them some time in the backyard to kind of clear out maybe on this deck here. But like, we still have some larvae and the bees. And so that's kind of it. I mean, it's incredible. Um, as the bees hatch, they, they're, I keep them in that, in that bin. And uh, like twice a day, I take the bin outside, open it up and they fly away. Um, so I'm just gonna keep doing that as I record the score for Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. And um, yeah, it was just, I mean, it was an incredible, it was an incredible trip. I'm so grateful to Tyler Thackray for having us and letting us into his world and letting us experience that, but then also letting us take it home and record music with it. It's so great. I'm really grateful for Mike Rosen, my manager, who came along with me on that trip. And I'm grateful for all of you who watched and were part of this with us. And it was fun. I mean, it's cool. I, it's a milestone moment. I'm just uh, sitting here thinking how fortunate I am that I get to do this for a living. It's cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.